Hello everybody, this is Aviram, and today I'll walk you through the installation and setup of the Risk Master add-on for NinjaTrader. Risk Master is a powerful risk management tool that helps you manage your trading accounts by applying predefined rules, profiles, and thresholds to protect your capital during trading sessions. Let's get started. First, we need to import the Risk Master add-on into NinjaTrader. To do this, go to the Control Panel, Tools, Import, NinjaScript add-on. Once the import window is open, find your version of Risk Master that you've downloaded through the email and click open. You get a few warnings about safety. You can just proceed with yes. And another for the detected add-on. Once we've imported the add-on, you'll need to restart NinjaTrader. Once we've logged in again, go to Tools and Risk Master. A license key window will pop up here you enter the license key and press OK. Once it's confirmed, you'll need to restart again. Once we've logged in again, go to Tools, Risk Master, and you'll see the Risk Master window opening up. We can now begin exploring the features of Risk Master. You'll notice four tabs available, Rules, Profiles, Accounts, and Settings. Let's go through each of these tabs in detail starting with the rules. In the rules tab, you can create profiles with custom sets of rules. These rules will govern how Risk Master manages your trading accounts during the day. Let's talk about the rules. So some of the rules are daily thresholds. This means that once you reach a certain target, for example, a daily trade limit of five trades, your account will be blocked until the next trading day. This goes for daily loss and daily profit thresholds. Let's fill out the rules now. Once you've defined your rules, simply click Save Profile to store them for future use. The Profiles tab is where you can view, edit, or assign profiles to your connected accounts. This allows you to apply specific rules to any account in NinjaTrader. In the Accounts tab, you can see four columns. Account, Active Profile, tomorrow's profile, and the status of the account. When assigning a profile, it automatically assigns it to the active profile and tomorrow's profile. The account can have two statuses, either active or blocked. You have the option to lock an account for the rest of the day. For example, let's lock SIM 103. The Settings tab contains general settings and two key options. First, you can assign your email address for separate purposes. Second, you can assign a third-party email. This could be a friend, a family member, or a trusted trading partner who can remove trading restrictions or blocked accounts if necessary. You can assign those emails by pressing Assign Emails and choosing the correct email you want to assign. Once you've done this, Go into your email, copy the password, and paste it. And you can see your email address here. Now you have assigned your email. You can do the same for the third party email. To remove emails, you can just press Remove Emails. You can request a password via email, for example, the user email. This will send you an email to your original mail. Same process. Just enter the password. And once you have your own email, you can contact support directly. Let's assign a third party email. Once you've assigned a third party email, you can go back to the accounts tab. And now what you can do is remove restrictions right away. So, for example, let's remove the restriction on C102. You'll get a password sent to your third party email. And you can use it to remove the restriction. After removing the restriction, you'll see the active profile for SIM 1 and 2 has been removed, but tomorrow's profile has not been removed. The idea behind this feature is to allow users to remove restrictions right away if they feel they need to do so. Also, if you want to remove all restrictions, you can press on Remove All and go to the same process. And if you want to reset everything, for tomorrow, you can press Reset All. If you want to change a profile for the current trading day, you'll have to remove it first. 
But if you want to change a profile for tomorrow, you can do so by just going to assign profile and choosing, for example, a different profile for scene 101, which is aggressive in this case, and then press assign. You'll see that the active profile stays for risk master, but tomorrow's profile changes for aggressive. You can also edit profiles, but this won't change the current active profiles, only for tomorrow. An important note about the rules tab. If you don't want to use any of the features, you can just leave them empty and you will have no restrictions for that specific feature. For example, let's make a no restrictions profile. And you'll see everything is marked as zero. This means you have no restrictions at all. This includes time restriction windows. As you can see, I made a few more profiles so we can test out each of the features individually. And I have also created the accounts for each feature and assigned the profiles. Let's look at the feature for max allowed contracts. This feature is a limitation of the quantity you can input in each order. So for example, in our profile, I set it to one. So if I buy, you'll see I can buy. Let's close the order. But if I raise it to two and above, you won't be able to trade. Let's enter a long position. And let's put a stop loss and a profit target order for one contract. You're also limited for the number of orders you can put in each direction. For example, if I want to put another stop, I wouldn't be able to because we set the number of max allowed contracts to one. This goes the same for sell stop limit. You won't be able to. And also, you cannot change it here. Uh, this is the same for the cell limit. Let's look at the daily trade limit. So this feature is not about the quantity of the order, but the amount of trades you enter and close. So for example, let's make a quantity of three and buy. And then let's close. This counts as one. Let's reduce the order quantity to one and buy and close again. This counts as two. And let's just add one more to the quantity and buy again. And let's close again. This is the third time. So this feature basically allows to trade up to three times a day. Let's try and buy again. And you'll see you've been blocked. Let's look at the feature for consecutive loss limits. This feature basically allows you up to three losses in a row. And if you lose up to three times in a row, you get blocked for the current trading day. But for example, if you lose twice and then you profit, the counter resets back to zero. Let's do it now. Let's buy once. We can see we're at a loss. Let's close. This counts as one. Let's buy again. Again, we're at a loss. Let's close. Now let's sell so we can reset. Once we're at green, let's close. This now resets the consecutive counter and we can trade again. Let's now lose three times so you can see we get blocked. As you can see, after three consecutive losses, your account has been blocked from performing any actions today. Let's look at the daily loss threshold feature. This feature is pretty basic. It allows you for up to, for example, in this case, $100 of loss, and then it blocks you. Let's do this. It's important to note that although the loss is set to 100, the program exits at market. So in a volatile market, we'll exit as soon as possible, but at market, so you might lose more or less, depending on the market itself. As you can see, we've been blocked from performing any more actions today on this account. Let's look at daily profit target. This is basically the same as loss, but to the other side. Let's enter a short position. As you can see, we've been blocked for the day. Let's look at the single trade loss limit feature. 
This feature allows to put a threshold on a single trade. No matter the contract amount, it will exit at market once it reaches this threshold. So for example, let's try and lose 50 bucks. As you can see, the program took over and exit the position for us. And if we look at the single trade loss limit in the control panel, you can see it's a $65 loss. Again, because we exit on market. Let's look at allow trading days. This feature basically allows you to block specific trading days. When you block those days, you won't be able to trade in them. So in our case, I've blocked everything. So if I try to buy, you'll see we've been blocked. Let's look at our last feature, which is time restriction windows. You can set up any amount of trading windows that you'll be restricted to trade into. If you're outside those windows, you won't be able to trade. That wraps up the initial setup and overview of the Risk Master add-on. With your license activated and the rules, profiles, and settings configured, you are now ready to manage your trading account with Risk Master's powerful risk controls. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to reach out through the support email you've set up or through the comment section. We'll do our best to help you out. Thanks for watching and happy trading!